What we have here is a demonstration of a PLC, that's a programmable logic controller. This unit right here is the programmable logic controller. It's sitting on top of a power supply. The programmable logic controller is taking uh, signals from various sensors. In this case, we have two sensors. They're water level sensors, which are connected to this tower or tank. Um, the uh, computer in the background is simply monitoring whatever the, the PLC is doing. So you can see the status of the, the various inputs um, over here in the outputs. Uh, for the PLC. Uh, it's the computer is used when we program the PLC, but once the PLC is programmed, it will run the program independent of the computer. The computer can be disconnected and the PLC continues to run the program. PLCs are usually programmed with ladder logic. Ladder logic is a graphic sort of programming language where uh, individual bits are represented by switches. These are the contacts of the switches, which in some case are memories, as in this case, or their inputs from sensors, as these two. These two are sensors coming from the water tower. Uh, the outputs are these guys over here, and essentially they're like the solenoids of a relay. So once a, uh, uh, an output, in this case the output 1000, gets turned on, that turns on the contacts for, um, for memory bit 1000 and will complete the circuit for any other circuit down below using that memory logic. In this case, uh, he's turning on a motor, which pumps water. You can see there's various connections over here. These are connections for inputs, and you'll have connections for outputs at the bottom, plus some power connections. This light indicates the lower water sensor light. When it goes out, um, it'll turn on a pump, which will be indicated by a lamp down here. Uh, it, it turns on the relay, so now the pump has gone on. Water level has rise up to the lower switch. As soon as the water level gets up to the higher switch, which is indicated by a lamp right here, it'll then shut off the pump. Uh, if you reach the higher switch, it shut off the pump. Now it'll drain down until that lower switch goes off. It'll start the pump on once again. You see here's the lower sensor, and his light is on, meaning that there's water present. Here's the upper sensor with no light, meaning no water is present. As soon as the water level goes below this uh, lower level, this light here will go off, which will trigger the pump to be turned on. The pump's turned on, and now it's filling itself. He's got water present at this level, so the light's back on. The water will fill up to approximately this level when the light will go on on the upper sensor, shutting the motor off.